Hello family, this is Gamers Forum back with another interesting video on Clash Pink. So guys, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and wish any fully book or interest from the writing Clash Pink, you'll get all the necessary detail details of each event over this channel. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to tell you about the troop layering concept in brief so that you are able to gain more benefit at the offensive and defensive battle for sure guys. I'm going to explain that particular concept in a better way so that none of the doubt will be able to be be added at your end and you are able to under, understand that particular concept on a easy basis i'm going to take, uh, first show you the march march formation that i'm having on with the troop layering i'm going to take a report as a reference in return so that you are able to understand that what are the benefits and how does this particular concept works on apart from this guys uh, you have seen out i have unlocked this new permanent skin uh, it is looking really great uh, that particular one you are able to gra grab it from the atlantis even guys don't miss out this particular permanent skin for sure if you are a non-spender now apart from this guys let's move to the one that today is the building day we know that and let me tell you quickly that how you are able to open all the reward chest for sure for opening all the reward chest only thing that is being required at your end is going to be the black gold stone and white gold stone guys yes guys these are the two things that is being needed at your end for uh, opening out if we talk about the black gold stone and white gold stone you can able to grab that particular thing from the skyland feature guys you can see over there on the daily basis i'm getting 30k of the white and black gold stone just from the skyland guys from the treasure of sky you are able to grab this at a certain period of time you can get it more than um 100k on the daily basis like this guys from the skyland itself all you need to do is to expand any of the building at a certain extent and try to use at least 800k of the black gold stone in any of the building and i'm going to make sure that you are able to open all the reward chests for sure guys if you want to take the do not take the risk of using 8k 800k directly then you can able to use any of the 100% of the scorecard and then use the 800k of the one and in return you will get the strongest kingdom all reward chest open like this in just few minutes guys in one or two minutes it is the max that i'm suggesting on guys so that's all about the conquest day the building day i hope that you will definitely going to go with that particular one and open the reward chest now let's move to the troop layering guys let me take an example so that you are able to understand that what really the troop layering is the troop layering is the different level of troop that is being used in the march formation means those kind of troop which is not being useful for you in the offensive and defensive battle at all guys but still you are using that that is known as the troop layering like you can see over here guys the i'm having these main troops okay after that when it's come to the troops with the level 10 and below it is not being able to do any of the damage against t14 and t13 of the opponent but still i'm using five of each troop this is what troop layering i'm using on so now the thing is that why this troop layering is important why i'm using five of each, these non counter troops in my formation now i'm going to explain that particular concept with an example let me i have taken one of the report recently from my another castle normally and this particular one and let's see that how this particular one is being working on basically guys let me first show you that in the another cost, castle i'm not using any of the troop layering i'm only using only and only the main troops you can see t12 t14 t13 t14 t11 t14 t13 and t14 all the main troops i'm using out only and in the in this particular castle you can see over here guys i'm using different of the layers first t4 t6 t7 all the lower level troops then comes this particular one so basically the troop is being aligned at a certain one now let me tell you that how this particular one is being working on firstly if i am the attacker then I, my first troop will attack the opponent like my t4 will attack try to attack the t12 of my other castle okay like this it will not do any damage but the t12 will do the counter attack on my troops guys like this it will hit my next troop the t6 like this it will take the damage from that particular one and the five of this particular troop will be dead guys or will be wounded and then my t7 is going to do the damage for sure like this 
it will come, uh, go on the battle will go on from time to time at a certain period of time in the clockwise or anti clockwise at like chances to chances turn by turn it will goes on as a certain time when the opponents to 12 uh, and my my main troop will hit the t12 then it will be gone next when it comes to the damage my other troop will take the damage and like this i am having the more opportunity to reduce the damage from the opponent's counter feature guys because i am having much much more layer troops means i am going to get more opportunities of counter attacking as compared to the opponent because the opponent is only using the main troops six or seven kinds and i am using 15 to 16 different types of troops so that is why a white troop layering is being important right over here guys because it can increase the chances of counter attack as well as the offensive battle it will increase the amount of capturing out the counter troops guys at the first at your end but the damage that is being dealt to your troop will be reduced as a certain instant guys so like this this is pokla one now the another benefit of this layering is that when you are having battle with the equal strats opponent means if you are having a battle with the certain enemy which is having the equal stats as you like you are possessing 900% hp then opponent is having 910 or 920% hp like this all the stats is almost the same or a bit better or something like that but at that particular time the whole thing works on the march formation that you both guys are using on at that particular instant if you are using the layering you will definitely going to get the benefit that is why i am in the offensive battle guys i am not using the layering purpose for to be frank guys i am always being truthful to you guys that's why i am saying that in the formation of the offensive one i am not using any layering i am just focusing on the my offensive troop that is the t13 but for the defensive for the cavalry defensive purpose i am using the layering purpose because in the defensive one i am going to take the benefit for sure guys by the countering feature and this layering uh, feature so don't miss out this particular thing i hope that whatever i have explained in this particular video is being clear to you so the thing is at last let me explain it again only thing that is being necessary right down here is to use different layer of troop on the defensive and offensive battle try to reduce it whether you are using one troop or five troop 10 or 50 troop it doesn't matter on only thing is that there should be layers so that you are able to get more chances of counter attacking to the opponent at a certain extent because only and only at the first time when it is being your troops are being hit the lower level troops are being targeted at once guys at that particular time when you are having much more layers of the lower level troops then they will definitely going to reduce damage at your end guys and you will have get the additional chances of countering the higher level troops of the opponent which is not using the layering feature so this is how this whole scenario is working on i hope that this particular concept is being clear to you and this will help you in the battle for sure guys so that's all about today's video guys i hope this information will be helpful for you at a certain instant and that's all thanks for watching and keep going with gamers forum thank you guys